My name is Timothy Trespass, and I am still a targeted individual. Um, here I am uh, standing outside of Housing Court, uh, 141 Livingston Street. Big, tall building with lots of rooms and lots of judges and lots of lawyers and lots of poor people who seem to be losing their homes. Very depressing place. Uh, Petra is um, difficult to deal with at best. She gets, uh, I don't know, very, uh, you know, she has a right to feel the way she feels. She has a right to say the things she says, but they're not always appropriate nor relevant to the thing at hand and separating the quote-unquote realities of being abused and tortured and discriminated against from the realities of, you know, greedy landlords running you over with a bulldozer, which is, may or may not be part of the same targeting shit. I would like to think that the guy my landlord hired wasn't a perp, but he called me said, what are you doing? And I said, oh, we got this real estate agent trying to help us. He said, really, what agent? Stupidly, I told him the name. I said, I don't know, it's something uh, over here. I gave him the area. And what do I get? The next day, I get a call from this lady saying, I'm sorry, but we can't help you. We can't handle your, your request for a room because nobody's ever given a room to somebody with a cat or something, they said. I don't know, it was a ridiculous story, but... You know, as soon as I talk to this guy who claims to be Geronimo Housing, you know, uh, construction, the one they hired to threaten us and claim he was the landlord and, you know, call the fire department and turn off the electricity and all the other stuff they did, call Con Edison and not let us have electricity even if we paid for it. Uh, I forgot what I'm talking about. Anyway... The, 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 this case is, you know, we went in and we didn't answer, we didn't do the service affidavit, we didn't do the poor person's relief, we didn't do anything, we just asked, could we please have an adjournment for uh, time to get legal advice, and the judge was very kind and gave us uh, until the 9th of next month to seek legal counsel and slash find a freaking place to live. I, I don't believe that our claim for succession rights is going to float. Um, and that's our main defense. Our other defense is the harassment. And the harassment defense is not a defense for getting a lease. It just proves that the people who are trying to get out, get you out, are horrible and greedy and will stop at nothing, you know, short of murder maybe. I don't know, will get you out so they can quadruple the rent. And we see it all the time, you know, the New York Times, the Boston Globe, or the Time Magazine, they're all talking about Bushwick, is so fantastic, up and coming, great, gotta be there. It's the exact same place that the poor people lived there before, you know, two years ago when you could get a whole apartment for 800 bucks. It's the same place, just they slapped some new brick face on, or uh, took the apartments, ripped them out, made four bedroom apartments for four grand, and charged four people a thousand bucks a month each for the same place I used to get 800 bucks. And my question is, where are the poor people and their families moving to? Where are they finding affordable housing? Because I need to find affordable housing too. So anyway, the other thing that's a question is the, the rent status, the rent stabilization slash rent control status of this place seems to be uh, real funny business. We got two reports for the same apartment, both say different numbers, the numbers are all different and the, nothing is, you know, not reported, not reported, not reported. The guy's not been reporting for years, he's claiming exemptions and claiming market value is more than it is and, you know, all this crap. It's a freaking nightmare. And, I, I, you know, I'm up there with Patriot and she gets this passive, aggressive, I'm gonna do shit my way whether it fucking matters or not, you know, kind of thing. And I'm like, all right, whatever. I can't fucking sit here and deal with this. I'm too stressed out. I had to go outside and smoke a cigarette. It's just, I don't handle stress very well. I try desperately to be the kind and loving and supportive partner. And, and you know, the stress of this thing, these people are really working to drive a wedge between us, you know?
um, listen, they put us through hell, almost killed us, tried to get me to kill her, tried to get me to hate her, tried to get me to think she was involved in this, and they really had me going. And I said, look, if you're involved in this, you're involved in it. If you're going to kill me, you're going to kill me. You're going to eat me, you're going to eat whatever it is. I had these crazy ideas about vampires and werewolves. And, you know, they had me on a lot of LSD. I didn't know what was going on. And I said, listen, if you're going to eat me, if you have to. Fine, I love you enough. You can have my life. And I meant it. You know, it was the only way I could, could cope with this. So now she's getting to the point where, like, oh, it's just too much. They keep telling her and stressing her. It's too much. Too taken advantage of. And, uh, and so I'm like, oh, God, here we go. You know, uh, we make choices in our lives, you know, that we don't always feel the same way. We don't always stick with them. You know, I've seen it happen. It happened to me. I was with somebody that, that I cared for, but I guess I didn't love them as deeply as I thought I did, whatever. And then they turned on me, you know. My last girlfriend, after her brain surgery, turned on me and started yelling at me and calling me names. And, you know, we wouldn't, we wouldn't sleep together. And, It's just weird, and whatever, so, you know, I don't know if she's this email saying something, blah, 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 whatever, I don't know, so, yeah. uh, just please with lots of sugar, chocolate sprinkles, and da, 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 give me five more minutes, yeah, fine, whatever, take your freaking time, you know, I'd just like to go home and see if we burned the house down, because, uh, as we were rushing to get out and screaming and yelling, the thing I can't deal with is I'm always late to everything. You know, so I got up at 7 o'clock this morning to make sure I wasn't going to be late. And, and at 5 minutes to 9, we're supposed to be meeting somebody at 9, and I got to go to the clinic to get my medication. You know, and she's still inside the house looking for a stapler, and I'm like freaking out. Come on, we got to go. You know, we got this lady waiting for us. And, you know, I don't know how to, to deal with it, be nice about it, like, please, honey, pretty please, you know, I'm like, I'm trying to be real nice, but the stress really gets to me, man, it's like, you know, I'm, I live in my own world sometimes, but this girl, she's even deeper in her own world sometimes, and I can deal with all that, we can deal with all this shit, we can deal with everything and all the problems we have with each other, this is the external stress. This is the external people putting crap on us and prejudice. And these fucking watchers with their freaking mind control whispering in your ear. They must be bad people. Ah, blah, blah, blah. All this shit, man. So that's that video. I vented, got it out, and whatever. That's my feelings. And, uh, thanks for watching.